Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch episode 5 of One Day. Um, I'm terrified, quite frankly. I'm so scared. So a quick recap of the last episode. I was crying randomly throughout the entire episode just from the way people were like looking at each other. It was really, it was an odd experience. Um, but then I also was crying because... Emma and Dexter were on a vacation of sorts. I think they were in Greece. And the first half of the episode was really cute and flirty and fun. And I was living my best life there. And I was simply not prepared for the amount of devastation and destruction that was about to plow me down. So that took me out when the second half of the episode we had Emma admitting that she had a massive crush on Dexter, Dexter telling her that he knew about that, and then they went skinny dipping, he apologized for being a jerk and telling her that he knew that, said that he liked her and he fancied her, immediately followed that up by negating that and saying that he fancied everybody, like, my guy, what are you doing? And then was like, I'm not in a good place for a relationship right now, but like, hey, if you ever want to fool around hit me up like that's like what that was and I immediately started crying <laughs> because I I was hurt personally my feelings were hurt it didn't involve me at all but I was very upset about it and she was upset about it and had a really good talk about how she was like I feel like you want me to be off in a corner just having a crush on you, twinkling for you, whatever she said. And that really hit me and like knocked the wind out of me. And so yeah, of course, obviously then it was weird and she got out of the water and, you know, they had to go share a bed because one bed trope, people. God. Anyway, I'm looking forward to maybe a happier episode this time around, but I just feel like it's, I don't know if we're gonna get another happy episode, if I'm being honest. I don't really know what to expect, so that's about it. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon, link that's down below. And without any further ado, let's just jump right in to episode five of One Day. Let's go. Oh God, what is this man doing? partying it up. Is Dexter gonna go down some kind of weird drug situation that I don't want for him? Or is he just having a good night partying? Cause I'm fine with that, but I, I don't want this man doing drugs <laughs> at all. And I still want more answers about his mother. Are we at 92? Yes, we are. Oh, in London. Come on, Dexter. My man is doing drugs. <laughs> in case you missed that. Oh my god, my man is not okay. I hate this for him. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good at all. Wow, that was a turn. Bro, she's uh, sick and you couldn't show up one time. Without me. Started, you're three hours late. Guys, does she have cancer? from Emma. Lovely Emma Morley. Emma Morley is lovely. Good. No? She's got her own little place. It's tiny. Mm. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm having a marvelous time. That's not what I asked. Look, life is good. People. Britain's ugliest girlfriend. It's a silly late night show. <gasps> Post pub. Don't overthink it. Dexter. 
That's horrible. This is heartbreaking. I can walk now. Mm -mm -mm. This is really sad. So I open the window? I'll leave it. Oh, it's, it's just a bit close. <laughs> Dex. You're staying the night, aren't you? Actually. I, I can't. I've got plans. Dexter. Are you fucking serious? You'll stay for supper, though. Six o'clock? Of course. I'll be there. Goodbye, darling. Mm-mm. I feel like he's doing all the drugs and stuff like that to, like, escape what he feels, like instead of facing it. Sleeping, she was tired. Where do you think you're going? To my room. I just sort of said, it feels so weird that we haven't gotten any Emma yet, but I'm guessing that's happening now. Oh, it's not. Up. You've missed the whole day. What, what time is it? Hmm. After seven. This man is not okay. Are you? Therapy. I'm angry with everyone these days. You've had everything you ever could have wanted. God. And you've done nothing with it? I think that you have it in you to be a fine young man. But you're not there yet, Dexter. Mm. You're a long way off. He needs to hear this. And I'm afraid the person you have become is not very nice. In episode two, she was asking him to make sure that he always stayed nice. Yikes. Oh my god, that's gonna send me. Oh god. I'll, I'll, I'll stay tonight. No, no, no. I will. I, I, I want to. Dexter. Come back next time and start again. Are his keys missing? I've hidden them. <laughs> hidden your car keys, Dexter, because you're drunk. Oh, I'm not drunk. I'm hungover. Badass dad. We stand. You're a grown man, Dexter. Here it comes. Here it comes. Your mother loves you very much. But in whatever time your mother has left, ever, ever, turn up at our door in that state again. I will not let you in. Do you understand? I carried her up the stairs. So? I put her into in bed. Go home, Dexter. Mm. Oh. Yikes. He needs that tough love. That was not acceptable. But it's hard to watch, for sure. Are we going to get any Emma this episode? Is that who he's going to call to come get him, you think? Oh, there she is. She's so beautiful. Oh my god, does she have a date and he's going to call her or something? I don't know why I feel like that's what would happen. That might be what's happening. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, is she gonna miss it? Uh. Oh no, she missed it. Jesus. But seriously, do um, do call me. Guys, mm -mm. just being an unbelievable, unbelievably shitty day. Um. Anyway, you have a great night. I want to hear all the details. Yeah, heartbreak of you. Damn it. This is so painful. Oh God. You joking? Tell me you're joking. Say psych right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, what did I say? I love this for her, she deserves Bonket. What? Well, I'll have the chairs, but would you prefer to bonket? Oh no, chair is fine. Yeah. Funny word, bonket. Uh, not really, it says French. Bonket. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just French. No, 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 you just... See, this seems like a nightmare to me. <laughs> Thanks. You look, you look like nice going well. to dinner yeah. for a date? I mean, I guess it's fine. Maybe if you know the person, it's a little bit different than like a first meeting at a restaurant. But that seems like a nightmare. And for you, so I would not want to do that even a little bit at all. I would want to do an activity. That looks wh horrifying. Oh, <laughs> you think it's fancy? Yeah, quite fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle him. I'm sure you can check when you order. Oh God, guys, it's not. It, the flames aren't flying. Tenet for your thoughts. Sparks aren't sparking. Tenet for your thoughts. I had my first job interview today to teach English and drama. Come on, Emma, slay, girl. Gotta go. Yeah, good. Yes. <laughs> Would you like a wine full of forest fire with a back note of exploding toffee apple? Never anything unexpected, is it? Bokey bacon, what's it with a succulent back note of giraffe? Ian. Yeah. Stop. Might I suggest the Val Bollicella? Mm. Mm. I don't know that this is gonna work, man. Blackberries and vanilla, so say. She's doing a good job. So is he, but it feels like him being himself maybe is a little bit too much for her. Not a bra bad way. A bad way. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad way, but maybe it's just like. You still make some decks there. Make some <laughs> noise. Don't look at me. <laughs> he's uh, he's doing alright for himself. Yeah. Well, he's having a bit of a hard time of it at the moment. His mum's ill when he's not taking it very well. Well, anyway, that's good then that you're still around for him. Never really liked him, I guess. Mm. No, I remember that. In fact, I, I always thought he took you a bit for granted. Was that necessary, Ian? No, it was not. 
Sorry. Emma. It's, um... Well, it's not, it's none of my business. Oh my god, my heart. Oh my god, it's gonna happen again. That was fine. It feels like... I was gonna say, it feels like she maybe felt that before and felt a bit relieved that somebody else maybe saw it and it wasn't in her head but obviously she cares about him and that hurts if you're at school and you're not smart you're not popular he's kind of giving tom holland a little bit to it, don't you? do you see it you <laughs> i see it sport, and you get a bit reliant on it because if you're not funny you're not anything uh, and I don't believe that. What? That no one fancy each other. Well, documentary evidence would seem to suggest otherwise. I am just quite happy to be seeing you again. That's so cute. Emma, I think you are absolute bollocks. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, Emma, get it, girl. Mm hmm. We love. We love. That was a beautiful little kid. They're really going at it, huh? I love this for them. They're kind of cute. Me again? I know you're out. Oh. With laughing boy, but I just wanted to say. I've Laughing boy? Come here in the end. If you want to come around later, I mean, I'd like that. I'll pay for your taxi. You can stay over. So, just checking in. Stop. Now it's late. You know, I've been thinking. And we're not going to get to see her, like, listen to them. That's a crime. Guess who? Come on, Emma. I'm not going anywhere. Guys, wow. That one absolutely just shattered my heart um, once again, which was to be expected. We all expected that going into this episode. However, um, I wasn't expecting to see Dexter cry. And if there's one thing that will make me upset, it's seeing somebody who is normally happy, bubbly, very confident, seeming, break down. I can't handle that. I can't handle it. I cannot handle it. Um, yeah, I mean, clearly Dexter is not handling his mother being sick well, I mean, I feel like a lot of people are not, but he's definitely handling it in the worst way possible with the medicating uh, that is going on there. Showing up super late to, I believe, was it his mom's birthday? That's why he had a present from Emma. Um, then, like, taking some more drugs and sleeping through the dinner. His dad really gave it to him, which he needed that tough love. It was rough. It was rough. But I think that that was the only thing that was really going to get through, that it wasn't acceptable the way that he behaved. And then him calling Emma and breaking down on the phone. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to cry again. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> um, and just seeing the fact that he was calling her throughout the night while she was on her date with Ian. We love Ian. He seems just like a goofy guy who really likes her and really cares about her, so I am happy for her. She deserves somebody who, you know, puts her at number one, views her as number one, and always wants to look out and care for her. That's what she deserves, because she is a queen, of course. So, I wish we got to see her listen to the voicemails that Dexter was leaving, however... 
I'm curious to see where we're going to go in the next episode, like, because obviously it's going to be 1993. I feel like at this point I'm pretty confident in saying that each episode's going to be the next year, so it's going to be 1993, and I just, I don't know. Are they going to be hanging out? Are they going to be on good terms? I'm so happy she's there for him, but what Ian said was true. He did take her for granted a lot of the time. Um, so I think he's kind of, I don't know, I felt like he really realized how much he needed her in this episode. And maybe we'll see a little bit of a transition or a flip within the next episode because it'll be a year from now. I feel like his mom maybe isn't going to be here anymore, which is really upsetting, but guess we'll see. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. Link that's down below. And I'll see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.